Fox News published an op-ed by Daniel Turner who condemns Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez because she is apparently pressuring Democratic presidential candidates to embrace her quote-unquote anti-labor policy proposals, namely the Green New Deal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second, I thought that AOC was pro-labor. Well, you'd be correct, but this individual actually makes the opposite argument. And this person claims that he actually is the true pro-labor advocate. Now, of course, this is incorrect. This individual is absolutely loathsome and motivated by money because he is literally a fossil fuel shill. But rather than reading to you uh, that op-ed, we're going to play a clip of him talking about his op-ed on Fox News. And what you will see is propaganda in its purest form. This is disgusting. This is deceitful. And I have a lot to say about this. Okay, so uh, what you did was you looked at, uh, they're talking about helping the working man, the blue collar employee, but are their policies really helpful to them? Yeah, exactly. And if you work in the, the, the blue collar industry, the people that Joe Biden claims to represent, what do you think of these, this cabal of people running for the 2020 nomination and the policies they are presenting? If you sure. are a blue collar worker, I work for an organization that, that advocates for fossil fuel industry. Mm -hmm. If you're in coal, oil, gas, fracking, Every one of these candidates is saying not only are we going to make your job impossible, a lot of them will become illegal under a Green New Deal. Well, let's talk a little bit about Joe Biden, former vice president. He has suggested let's ban offshore oil and gas drilling. So how's that going to help the little guy? Exactly. And these are hundreds of thousands of people. This, these are not ethereal ideas. These are people who are going to lose their jobs. Their jobs will become illegal. When someone like Bernie Sanders says by the year 2030, we will not have fossil fuels, well, more than 10 million people directly and indirectly work in the fossil fuel industry. So what do you think of, of, of Senator Sanders saying that to you, that your job becomes illegal? And this nonsense of, well, we promise green jobs in the future. President Obama promised green jobs, and they never materialized. How about the fact that the United States is now energy independent, thanks to, in large part, fracking? Guess who wants to get rid of that? Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, on, on day one, that they, she said she will make it um, illegal on federal lands. Bernie wants an out-out ban on it completely. Why did they say fracking is bad? You know, fracking has this, it, it's, it's like the boogeyman of, of people who do not understand how the energy industry does it go, works. Does it go back to the, they turned on the faucet and uh, they were able to light it on fire? And, and, and a lot of those things were all Hollywood stunts that were done for movies. But think, right now in America, we have over a million seven fracked wells. Everywhere in this country, a, a million seven fracked wells. That's a lot of people who are depending upon this industry and a lot of people who live side by side in harmony with this industry because it right. is safe and it is reliable. We have this terrible hurricane that is bowing down on America. We have Iran seizing tankers in the Straits of Hormuz. And look at the price of oil right now in America. Look at the price of gasoline in America. It, it hasn't been this cheap in a very long time. And that's because we're energy independent. And that's because men and women, these blue-collar people the Democrats claim to want to represent, are working in these blue-collar jobs every day, and they deserve respect. Okay, so fracking is helping to keep the price down. You get rid of fracking, the price of our gasoline goes up. Exactly. And, and with this promise of we're going to invest all this green technology that right. will be the panacea, but it's been proven to, to not sustain right. our life the way we currently live it. Daniel, uh, famously, I think Bernie Sanders was co-sponsoring AOC's Green New Deal or one of the supporters. He's since come out with his own with a price tag of close to $16 trillion. Who's that going to impact? Yeah, exactly. This is just an absolute cash giveaway to really green cronies. If you remember, Barack Obama passed this uh, this, this huge uh, green stimulus, and he gave Solyndra half a million dollars. How'd half a billion dollars. Didn't create a job, <laughs> didn't produce anything. So if Bernie's going to do this on the scale of $16 trillion, maybe we should all just quit our jobs and form a fake Solyndra. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. Now, we're going to talk about who Daniel Turner is. He kind of alluded to the fact that he is with an organization that represents coal, oil, gas, fracking industry and whatnot. Um, we'll tell you a little bit more about him because this individual is absolutely motivated by money and he's quite literally a shill in the purest, most literal definition. But he essentially says that the Green New Deal is terrible because this will lead to these types of jobs being made illegal. So what happens to all of these people in that industry? Now, if you follow politics and you know about the Green New Deal, you know that part of the Green New Deal is a just transition. 
we create new jobs and move people away from those dirty jobs onto clean, green jobs. And if you don't think that those people want to do that, then you obviously haven't talked to them. Because think about this, with coal miners, for example, long-time exposure to coal dust causes a plethora of health issues. Black lung, cancer. So, I mean, to think that these people wouldn't want to move to a new job that pays just as good, if not better, is absolute madness. And not only should we phase out these jobs because it's leading to us killing the planet, but it's literally killing people. These are dirty jobs that aren't healthy. So, you know, I shouldn't be taken seriously, though, because he's the true labor activist. Um, you know, AOC, people like myself, Bernie Sanders, they're not the actual advocates of labor. It's this person who uh, definitely is looking out for the little guy. And Steve Ducey also claims to care about the little guy because they talked about Biden's proposal to ban offshore drilling. And Steve Ducey asked, <laughs> hilariously so, how is that going to help the little guy? So it really is the little guy that they care about, you know, which is why they're absolutely doing this segment at the behest of the fossil fuel industry, who last year, mind you, had its most profitable year since 2013 and leads Forbes profit growth list in 2019. You know, by caring about them, you're definitely showing how much you care about the little guy, as <laughs> this coke-affiliated fossil fuel lobbyist explains why, you know, these pro-labor policies that are being proposed by people like AOC, these are actually anti-labor. Sure, Jan. I mean, this is gaslighting 101. Like, he's peeing on our legs and telling us it's raining. This is bullshit. Now, um, of course, I talked about the just transition to clean green jobs, and he addressed that. You know, he said... Why should we believe that after Bernie Sanders eliminates these jobs and makes them illegal, that these new clean green jobs will materialize? Because Obama also promised green jobs and he never delivered. So checkmate. Yeah, well, Obama also opened up the Arctic for drilling and he had a secretary of state that sold fracking around the world. So I wouldn't necessarily consider him the best ally. And furthermore, the thing about the Green New Deal is that as Bernie Sanders phases out these old jobs, he simultaneously creates new ones. It's not like he's going to say, let's ban all of these dirty jobs, and then 10 years down the line, you better make these new jobs available, or I'm going to come back and I'm going to wag my finger at you. No, he's doing all of this at once. The Green New Deal is a package deal. There's all these components to it that both get rid of these fossil fuel jobs, it phases them out, but then it introduces these new types of jobs that we transition these coal workers, fossil fuel workers to um, in a very quick period of time because we don't have much time uh, left to act. We have to save the planet within 11 years. So the fact that he is just brazenly lying to you, you'd think that at some point he'd feel bad. But when you're motivated by money, you know, when capital is everything to you, I guess you don't feel bad. I guess you can sleep even though you are running interference for an industry that is literally killing the planet that we live on. He then attacks Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders for wanting to ban fracking, which literally threatens our drinking water, and it causes earthquakes. It causes literal earthquakes. So to not want to eliminate that is absolutely unacceptable. But they just make it seem as if that's common sense. What? They want to get rid of fracking? That's preposterous. No. The opposite is true. If you don't want to get rid of uh, fracking, then you are absolutely wrong here. Do you want someone to frack in your backyard? Would you do that? Would you allow that? Or near your home? I don't think so. See, if it affected you, then you would have a very different stance. But here's what he said that just, it almost made my head explode. So first of all, he said this about Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal. He called out the cost, which is $16 trillion, didn't want to tell you that it pays for itself within 15 years, but he said that all Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal is, is a giveaway to green cronies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Only a fossil fuel shill would be able to say something like that with a straight face, and this individual is a literal fossil fuel Chill, because Daniel Turner is the founder and executive director of Power the Future, which claims to be an advocate for energy workers and pushes back on, quote, radical green groups and the ideologues who fund them. 
But you see, even though they claim to be pro-labor, this organization doesn't really advocate for worker rights. It's dedicated seemingly to increasing the profits of fossil fuel companies. They're not advocating for, you know, health care for fracking employees and individuals who work for these fossil fuel companies. I mean, they don't do any of that. So to claim that they're pro-labor is pretty comical. In fact, they literally peddle the same misinformation that multinational corporations within the fossil fuel industry spread. But yet he is doing all of this under the guise of being pro-labor, which is just hilarious. Now, they promise that they're not against renewable technology per se. And also they claim that they're not a lobbying organization and that they're totally funded by private citizens and not the fossil fuel industry. But there's just one big problem with all of these claims. That's bullshit. Because as Desmog points out, the FAQ page of Power of the Future claims it is not a lobbying shop, but more like a communications group that wants to call out facts about the energy industry. Power of the Future claims not to be funded by corporations, but the corporate ties are strong. Turner previously worked for two different Koch groups, the Koch Institute and the Youth Targeted Generation Opportunity. There's no mention of this on the website, but by targeting environmentalists, Turner is still serving Koch interests. Despite declaring that it does not lobby, Power of the Futures About page says that its nonprofit designation is a 501c4. This tax designation means a lot. There are two main types of nonprofit organizations, 501c3 and 501c4. Organizations with C3 status are charities and are allowed to do minimal lobbying, typically less than 10% of its budget. C4s, on the other hand, can do unlimited lobbying on issues and legislation relevant to their social welfare missions. Despite claiming not to be a lobby group, Turner created a front designed to do unlimited lobbying. And they're doing this under the guise of being pro-labor. Fox News, to say that they're pure propaganda, I've said this a thousand times, it's just, you can't not state that enough. This is just downright embarrassing, and the worst part is that they claim to care about the little guy. How does banning offshore drilling help the little guy? Because we need to have a planet to live on. In fact, it's not just the little guys who need a planet to live on, it's everyone. So unless you plan on using all of that money, Daniel Turner and Steve Ducey, to build lifeboats for yourselves, once climate change basically engulfs portions of the United States and mass migration becomes an issue, um, I don't know what to say. You're just, you're, at a time when we have 11 years to act, you're still trying to defend the one industry that is causing the planet to uh, become uninhabitable and destroyed. I don't know what else to say. You are just an existential threat to humanity at this point. And this is destructive. It's disgusting. And it's immoral. I Again, I don't know how they sleep at night, but um, I mean, I guess that the money is more important to them than having a habitable planet to live on. I guess they think that we're going to live on the moon or Mars or something in some fucking bubble. Not going to happen. We've got one planet. We don't take care of it. We all die. Period. End of story. That's that. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.